right now is we are calling angelic intervention intervention that calls attention. We're praying and we're praising. Amen. We knew what God, uh, Paul and Silas did. They prayed, they praised, and the Holy Ghost came down. For these girls, we claim our victory in the name of Jesus. Testimony is ours. We're already celebrating. Amen. We're already celebrating. Amen. I'm not here to preach. I'm here to pray. But it's good for us to have the understanding of what we're praying to God. It's all about Thanksgiving. You already said it. Amen. Because the Lord inhabits in the praises of His people. Right? Amen. We know it's kind of hard here, but you know, don't worry, we'll be okay in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yeah, I'm asked tonight to pray, you know, for the strength for the girls. You know, sometimes it's like 90, 91 days now that they're being in captain. They need the strength from Come on the now. Yes. to fight the battle. Yes. And we know that the Lord will strengthen them in the name of Jesus. Yes, I'm going to read yes. to us Psalm um, 32. Story 2, verse 7. Thou art my hiding place. Yes, Lord. Thou shalt preserve me from trouble. Thou shalt compass me about with sons of believers. Amen. 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 So we're going to pray that the Lord be a hiding place yes. inside of those children. I mean, we can imagine if it is your, not even your child, is a brother or a relative, how much more, you know, losing your child. If the child is dead, it's a different thing, but you don't even know where your child is. It's so hard to explain. So we're going to pray for these children that the Lord will strengthen them. But I really want us, you know, we're not here to mourn. We're not here to be weary. We're here to celebrate that victory because testimony is ours in the name of Jesus. You know, there's so many things happening all over the world, but I'll give us this one testimony in order for us to know that with God, all things are possible. Amen. With God, nothing, right? That's what shall be impossible. The only thing God cannot do is love. So he can do all things. Amen. There was a time, I think, um, a mother and two children were kidnapped. And they find themselves in this place, you know, of uh, these uh, killers. But do you know, the little child has the strength. I want you to know the power of that, the, 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 the strength of God from within you. Because you can be tired from outside, but if that rise up from within you, you're able to do anything. Because it says, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. This little child, even when the mother don't know what to do, is the one that held on to a mantle. There was no way of escape for these children and the mother. But this little child had a mantle, you know, listening, and that's why it's good to bring our children to church and have them listening to the word of God. It's whatever they take with them, that's what they're going to use to fight the battle. You understand? So it's very important to impact our children with the word of God. This little child took the mantle and called the name of Jesus. Call the name of Jesus. Believe you me, the door was open. There was fire that came out. The Lord honored the word of that little child. So we're going to pray for these children wherever they are. God knows. Even if we don't know, they say, sheep. He knows the exact point, and we're going to call the name of Jesus. How many of you know the story of in Second Chronicles 20? What happened? Jehoshaphat, King Jehoshaphat. What did they do? They were praising, 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 and what happened? Those enemies they rose against themselves. They killed themselves. It's not impossible. If they're not ready to take them back, let them turn against themselves and kill themselves, those 
children can have a way of escape. Amen? So, and that's exactly what we're doing. We're praying, the angels are walking, and we have God's attention. When God is here right now, as we're praising him, and we know he's walking, he's walking, he's walking, and that battle is over in the name of Jesus. So we're going to pray. Let's rise up on our feet as we pray and thank God. We, are, we know the victory is already, the, the battle is already won and victory is ours in the name of Jesus. But let's lift up these children that their name have been mentioned tonight and the one that we don't even know their names, that the Lord will strengthen them. Even in this battle, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Father, there is nothing. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth, and call it done in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Because when God steps in, every devil will step out. In the name of Jesus. Father, we pray. Because we are highly faith, oh Lord. Father, we pray that you strengthen these children from within. That none of them will grow weary or tired, Lord. In this battle, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We pray that your fear will surround them, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you. We give you praise, Lord. Because we know that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we lift up these children before you. Right now, wherever they are, Lord. Father, we have pleaded the blood. We have prayed. We have praised, Lord. It is time, Lord, for this. Oh, Lord, to be we give you praise, Lord. We thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we come against every fear, every lies of the enemy that surrounds these children, Lord, to give way in the name of Jesus to this sons of deliverance. In the name of Jesus, for we know that the battle is of the Lord. The battle is of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for this battle that you have won, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, that we thank you. Father, we give you praise. Father, we give you glory. Father, we give you all honor. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Oh, my cerebral shaker. Rabba cerebral shaker. Brethren, let us pray. Let us pray. Let us pray. Yes. Let's thank God for these children. Let's thank God for this strength. Yes, Let's thank Lord. God for surrounding them with his head of fire. In the name of Jesus. No more shall any one of these children be killed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you praise, Lord. We give you glory, Lord. We give you all of you. In the name of Jesus and adoration, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, blessed be the holy name. Blessed, blessed be the holy name. Father, we thank you. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy, Lord. Lift up your hands and tell him it's worthy. Let's thank the Lord for what he has done. Let's give him praise. Let's give him glory. Let's give him all honor that is due unto his name. Oh, Father, we thank you for this.
and we still go down. We would have time sessions just like this.
the Lord is delighted tonight by our praise, by our worship, by our victory, the spirit of victory, the spirit of thanksgiving in this house. I believe God is engaged. I believe heaven is fully embraced. I believe the heavenly places are wide open. I believe we are standing under an open heaven and that the angels of the Lord and the archangels of the Lord and the principalities of God and the powers of God have already gone before us, have already made their way to Nigeria. They have already converged yes. on the land that we're talking about. They have already moved into the camp yes. of every village. They have already moved into the hut of every girl. And I believe the angels of the Lord are turning things around right now. Amen. The Bible says that when the Israelites came out of Exodus, they came out by a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. Honey, God can do the miraculous. I don't care where you are in the world. God is able to turn it around on tonight. I believe it just took a group of people who would be faithful. So I have been I have been assigned with praying for the spirit of unification. And I want God to do more than unify us tonight. I want convergence in Nigeria. I want supernatural convergence. And I want natural convergence. How many know that sometimes when we pray for things, we need to include other elements? We need to pray that God moves the political scheme. Huh? Because I don't know what the trigger of compulsion is for Mr. Abaku. But God can make that trigger come alive. So I am praying for God to converge politically, spiritually, supernaturally, angelically. I am praying that God would converge even in the hearts and minds of families. If it was my daughter, and I said to somebody on Facebook, I said it could have been me. If we weren't brought over here on boats some hundreds of years ago, it could have been us. So tonight we just want to pray. I just want to pray and ask God that he would converge on so many different levels. And we would see a quick turnaround. And I believe that God has already done it. This is just a spirit of, this is just a prayer of unification that God continues to do the work, not just in us. But even as we leave this place, that God would continue to do the work outside of this house. Amen? Amen. And then why don't you stand to your feet just as the spirit of prayer is going forth. Father, I just thank you tonight, God. Father, I thank you because no weapon formed against these young ladies shall prosper. Not one weapon, God. Not one weapon, God. Not one weapon will work, Father. Father, I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus for every young girl that lies in her tub. God, for every young lady that sits in a, on her bed, God. God, wondering where you are. God, I just pray right now in the name of the Lord Jesus that you will begin to raise up her faith, God. You will begin to raise up her confidence, God. I pray that angels will begin to walk every hut, God. God, I pray that our angels will begin to be dispatched into that place, God. And God, I pray that you will show up in a miraculous way. Holy Ghost, you are our paraclete. You are our powerhouse. Show up as a pillar of cloud by day, God, and a pillar of fire by night. God, I thank you right now because you have a strategy, God, to bring every girl home. And God, I pray right now in the name of the Lord Jesus, you execute that strategy, God, in the political arena, in the governmental arena. God, I pray that you bring money, God. I pray that you bring finance, God. God, I pray that you bring trains, God. You bring buses, God. God, I pray that you bring horses, God. God, I pray however your way of escape is, God, you would bring it into manifestation, God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father, I rebuke and I bind everything that would hinder the way of escape, God. God, you are delivering, God. You are delivering, turning around, God. And God, I know just in a moment, just in the twinkling of an eye, God, you can turn it around, Father. And Father, I thank you. God, you begin to turn things around right now, God, on this night, God. And Father, even in the spirit, God, I begin to envision girls already out of their huts, already in the family's presence. God, I thank you for the CNN headlines, God. God, I thank you for the Fox headlines. I thank you for MSNBC already reporting it, God. God, I thank you right now, God. I come into alignment with heaven's plan, God. I come into alignment with heaven's strategy, God. You are a great counselor. You are a great deliverer. You are a great strategist, God. And I thank you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus that you're bringing all things into fruition right now on this very night, God. I thank you for it, God. I thank you for every headline all over the world trying to figure out how God did it, but we know right now, God, you've done it because we prayed. God, 
we gave you supplication. We gave you prayer. We gave you thanksgiving. And God, I'm grateful to you because no weapon formed against us shall prosper. And I thank you that you're with every girl on this journey. And you give them the testimony. You give them the faith. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen.